Yo, what's poppin' people? What's Welcome poppin'? to <laughs> another video. We got a bunch of influencers out with us today. Let me go ahead and introduce you guys to all of them. Listen, if you guys aren't subscribed to all these cool cats, you got the ugly face happening again. You need to check out their channels in the description box below, but let's go over everybody, dude. Look at this, look at this dude. <laughs> so we got First Aid Fishing. What's up, yo? A-Dub. Ryan is fishing. Um, I don't Next. really know. I'm, I'm working on my beard right now. It's, it's growing in, but I'm practicing. Boy, fishing with Norm. Fishing with Norm's a game. Bassin's a game. The dad. Yak, yak pack with fishing. Yes, sir. And we got a bunch of guys. So yak pack Norm, Ryan, Ada, First Date. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to smash that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, drop some video ideas down below with uh, some video ideas with all these boys. But what we're doing today is we're going to be. What we're gonna be doing today is splitting up into groups of three. So it's gonna be me, Yak Pack, and my boy A Dub right there versus First State, Ryan, and Norm. Hello. And they're gonna be fishing for catfish. We're probably gonna be fishing for some exotics. It's gonna be all on out and awesome collab. So if you guys wanna see some more collabs with all these people behind me, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Let's go ahead and get this started. One, two, three, boys. This is what happens when you leave a mangrove snapper in a cooler too long. Oh, ah. <laughs> I didn't even smell it, bro. <laughs> Dude, that, that was bad. I didn't think it was bad until about two seconds later. That does not smell good. Boys, so now we're actually at a little tackle shop. It's like a saltwater place uh, tackle shop. We're gonna be getting some live bait because in today's video, yeah, we paired up. So it's me, A Dub, and Yak Packs over there, um, and we're talking about doing at least for my channel. We're gonna do like a live versus fake. So we actually ran in Walmart and we got some like bread. So just some like basic Wonder Bread. And we're gonna be putting that against some live bait. I don't know exactly what they have here, but we're gonna see if they have some stuff. And we're gonna get it. But yeah, let's take a little tour real quick. Guys, this is a whole nother level on what I'm on. You know, I, I strictly bass fish and just seeing baits like this is just incredible. Look at that. That, that is so crazy. Adam, look at this stuff, bro. Look at these, that looks like a, just a massive lipless crankbait right there, but it's not. But it just does, that is insane. Isn't this like a whole nother level on like what we do? I have no idea about any of this stuff. This is some big boy stuff right here. <laughs> big, big boy stuff. But uh, yeah, look at all these baits. I mean, you guys think that's big? I, will I mean, say, look up I'll, there. I've caught bass on these before. Really? These huge grubs. I've actually thrown these before, and I've caught bass. Biggins? Biggins. Old biggins? Pretty big. Five How big? Plus. How big are you Five saying? Plus. Five plus. Ooh, yeah. Biggins. But yeah, guys, this tackle place is pretty cool. Dude, this color, electric chicken, is freaking legit, bro. Electric chicken. Electric chicken. I, uh, I did like some crappie videos last year on them. And electric, electric dude, chicken. electric chicken. That color right there has got like some, some pink with some green on top. That color is legit. So yeah, boys, let's go ahead and get Yak Pack. He's over here somewhere. What's up? Oh, no, you're good. So I told him we're going to uh, find some live bait. What I, what I was telling them that we're gonna do is kind of like a live versus fake, since you got the Wonder Bread. Yeah. And you know, the Wonder Bread pulls wonders out. So we're gonna go ahead and look at the live bait now. Dude, look at this, oh my gosh. Look at this. These are like big old, it was a squids? You know more about this than me. Yeah, these are these are baits that you're gonna use for uh, bedding largemouth bass. You kinda <laughs> wanna use this color right now, I'm kidding. Uh, this is for like your mahi or big marlin or swordfish, sailfish, big, big, big fish. Obviously, big bait, big fish. These little things, a big weight goes in there. I'm talking like an eight ounce weight. Like really? a half a pound goes in there. Like I mean, it's, That's crazy. It's pretty cool though. Head on shrimp is really nasty. I hate it. It's really? so nasty. Smelly? Because when it de thaws and you go to pinch the head off of it, their brains come out. Really? It's really nasty. <laughs> you guys have head off shrimp? No? All right, we'll get this. All right. And and they then, don't have live bait, though. No, no live bait? Dang. Well, we don't need live bait. You can go somewhere else? Next one? All right, cool. How many did he say? Like two dozen? Is that what he said? Yeah, a couple of We get two dozen and then uh, two packs of these. And these will be, uh, we should be pretty good with that. So we just came to another shop and we just got the live bait right there. 
Um, we're doing live shrimp. I have never done anything like this before, so it's pretty interesting. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. I know a lot of you guys probably don't do this often, and maybe some of you guys do, and maybe you can relate to this a little more. You know, it's cool to me. You know, I've never, I've never experienced this. So if you guys want to see some more stuff like this, where we come down to South Florida and film some cool things, we're gonna film some bass fishing content as well. But uh, overall, this good. is just a cool oh, time. He's good to upgrade for uh, oh crankbaits. Oh my baits. god, dude. good crankbait hooks. That is ridiculous. I think these are good. These you know what's even crazier? Look on the floor here, bro. Oh my gosh. Ten thousand. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is unbelievable. Put it on kick. It's on kick. It's on kick. It's on kick. It's on kick. Alright guys, so we got the live shrimp. Let's let's take a little sneak peek. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You Are you guys ready to get eaten? <laughs> <laughs> We got frozen shrimp, right? This is, let me show you the goods. Oh. Crusher hooks. Keep in mind, everything in the ocean eats shrimp, whether it be frozen or live. We're gonna these put them on here? Crusher hooks, yeah. So these are already pre-weighted hooks. I got some different hooks just in case these don't work, but 99.9% .9 of the time, these always work. So crusher hooks, frozen, 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 <laughs> frozen shrimp or live shrimp. Everything in the ocean And some shrimp. Wonder Bread, baby. Yeah, we got some Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread. All right, let's get it. Oh, go. what? Right away? Right away. Yes, sir. That's all I like to hear. And that's with a live bait, right? Yeah, this is a live shrimp. See? So they're eating. That's good. They're eating. So we're going to dethaw some of the frozen shrimp. We're going to go basically how you do that. The best way to do that, go put, open the bag. It's frozen. Put some water in it. Sit it out in the sun. Let it dethaw. And uh, we'll start pulling apart those live shrimp because what, that ju what just happened right there, what it told me was we need smaller bait for this hook. So we're just going to pull these live shrimp apart. It's going to have that live fresh well fresh oh, yeah. dead smell i guess fresh dead smell and uh we're gonna catch some fish let's make it happen boys oh yeah that water feels good yeah so this is what you do all you do you just put some water in it and we're gonna sit it out in the sun so they can basically de-thaw because they're hard as ice blocks right now i mean basically it's just one big shrimp ice block let it sit right here in the sun we got our live shrimp right here they'll probably start jumping around in a second they like to jump out of the bucket sometimes. do they oh yeah we got two dozen, right? Yep, these bad right. boys are live. Oh yeah, you can see the little leg. Oh, I've been kicking. So we're gonna pull, oh, oh gosh! <laughs> Every time it gets me! Every time! All right, so we're gonna pull this dude apart. Sit that right there. Ryan likes to use the head. Yeah. I don't like to use the head. I like to use the tail. No specific way to hook this, however you want to. We're just gonna give it the good old wacky rig and let it sit. Is the hook too big? It might be. Not Did you see him? Yeah. They had like the white with the black stripes on them. All right, so we're going to downsize in hooks, actually. Good thing I brought the other ones with me. I think this one may be just a little too big, but that's why we got two different sizes of hooks. And we didn't even spend maybe six total dollars on hooks and weight. Budget saltwater catch and cook fishing challenge ocean. Ocean <laughs> challenge. Blue water, one bridge, three guys, Six YouTube channels, two packs of hooks. I'm That's all you one. need. That's all you need. I mean, just those ingredients, those key ingredients. So we're gonna find out right now if A Dub's quick enough. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Are you excited? I'm excited. Dude. Yeah, you never done this before. Catch something either. cool. I've caught fish on shrimp. I've done that. I've been saltwater fishing before, but I have never done it under a bridge like this and for these type of species. I don't even know what it is. There's some weird striped fish. I don't even know what it is, but they look cool, and I want to catch one. <laughs> they so. look cool. Oh, oh yeah! Let's, oh, oh! It's all right. We're gonna eat him anyways. Yeah. Let's that? go. The purge. <laughs> the purge. Yeah. Okay. So this is a mangrove snapper, and I'm gonna try to open his mouth without getting bit. You We're got gonna, teeth. Oh yeah. Oh wow. He's got oh, a. Look at those little sharp. Yeah, they are. They will get you. I've been got before by these bad boys. So eight inches, minimum size limit. Eight inches. Eight inches. Okay. Is that about eight inches? Uh, That's why we don't want to put that. <laughs> All right, buddy. We'll catch you next time.
You gotta be very careful with those fish because they're very sharp teeth and they'll, they'll jack you up. Take it. Oh yeah, just keep the line tight. I couldn't even feel it. What, he already had it? Yeah, I just ate it. <laughs> Come on, A-Dub. What you doing? Okay, so all I gotta do is split one of these in half, right? This is just an experience. What a beautiful place out here. I have never really done anything like this. You guys know I pretty much strictly bass fish for the most part and just to come out here super clear water the old salt life it's uh it's neat it's refreshing it's something different if you guys are enjoying this type of content smash the like button i want to kind of diversify and try different things and um that's what it's about man i'm not gonna bass fish solely my entire life i want to try different things go catch some tarpon go catch some massive redfish peacock fishing we're gonna do a bunch of cool stuff hey dub got his first fish look i got a fish Throw him back. Yo, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> he shot on my head. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, oh, oh. God. I had to get him back. I had to get him back. Can I catch another one? Go for it. This is what I was talking about in the bait shop earlier. Oh, uh, and you get that stuff oh. on you and it's nasty. That's why we don't like head on shrimp. So if you're ever out here fishing in salt water, headless shrimp is the best. Go to Publix and get some frozen shrimp. That's the best way to do it. Shrimp is shrimp. Oh, there oh. we go. We got yes. another one. What is this? <gasps> oh, that's a goby. This is a goby. We can, oh my god. We can keep Yo, my camera messed up, but oh! You got a jack? Yeah, that's a jack. And he has the hook in his mouth. Oh, he break you off. Do you have teeth? Yes. So he cut my line. That joker cut my line. Look at that. That joker did it, dude. He did, did, it, did it, it. Razor sharp fin right there. So really? whenever you're holding these things, yeah. If they start I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you take care of these. He knows too much info. Whoa. My rod. I don't want to break it. He was fighting pretty good, dude. He's ripping drag. Really? Yeah, like seriously, I couldn't keep up. He was like, get him in. I was like, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, guys. This is my first time I've ever done any of this. Let's give it a shot. I know this was kind of like live versus fake deal. And we were going to use like the bread, but we're going to go to a different spot here soon. I don't know if I'm going to have to break this up into two parts or whatever it is. But uh, we are using pretty much like live versus dead. You know, we got the live shrimp right there. Frozen shrimp right there. I've never done anything like this. This is just really cool, you know, something so different. But yeah, we're gonna see if we can get this one. These things are so quick. Oh my God. Let's go walk over there. I do, but I don't really have good luck. I d with pilings, I break off a lot. There, he is, <gasps> there we go, baby. There, there's another one of those. Uh, the goby. goby. The goby. Really cool looking fish there. Correct name for those are called, a, I think it's a goby minnow. I know it's a goby. Part of the goby family. Yeah. yeah, look at the colors on that thing. Really awesome looking fish. That's a cool fish though. That's neat, that's my first one right there. New PB, baby. Yes, sir. Breaking new PBs out here. Ounces. Ounces. One baby. ounce. One ounce, sir. If that. Oh, oh baby. What is that? Oh, that's, do this. That's one a of sergeant those. major. That's a sergeant major. That's Look, what I got him called. right under the gill. That's what we were looking at. Look at Next that. Next drop. Dude, it looks like, you know, just a saltwater bluegill. Yeah. Honestly, like the same body type, just different markings. Tell them what you just said. So this is actually like a pure exotic right here. Pure exotic slash saltwater aquarium fish. Dude, look at the colors on him right there. That's beautiful. That is beautiful, man. That is so neat. I've never caught anything like this. Yeah. We're gonna have to do it again, but look at the markings. Got those, you know, black stripes right down the side. A little yellow on top, little Put a little bit of blue and green up in that baby. And then you got this guy right here. All right. Now we're off to the next spot. New spot? Yeah, let's get let's it. do it. Yeah. Woo! All right, let's see how the boys are doing. We're gonna give uh, old Ryan a call. I got a giant bass on right now, I gotta close that. There is no way. Oh Oh, yo! Oh my God! Oh my God! Dude, this is freaking oh my huge! God. Oh my gosh, dude! What? Where are you guys at? Yo, that's like a four pounder. What? What happened to the catfish? What is going on? Hey, hey, we got giant catfish. We got giant bass. Get out of my spot, Yak Pack! <laughs> <laughs> to me? Hey, look at this, man. Guys, Izzy fam, look at that bass we just caught. On the chatterbait. Absolutely whacked that thing. Hey, I'm gonna give you guys a call back later. Alright, dude, that's a freaking hammer. Yeah. That might be a five, dude. Jeez! Well, I guess we caught him at the right time. Well, I don't know what happened to the catfish deal, but I'm assuming they didn't catch him. He said he caught big catfish and he did. big he bass. Said they caught a lot of big ones. Holy cow. 
That is wild. All right, let's go. Right. Tell them the plan and what we're doing now. Now we're finally getting over to the, the fake bait. Yeah, so fake we bait. have the, uh, the fake bait. This is clearly not live bait uh, <laughs> by any means. What we're gonna be doing is I brought Noah and A-Dub here to this, basically it's a freshwater tilapia hole, right? It's a really, it's beautiful pond. The water is super clear, pending the wind. There's a lot of tilapia here. There's some bass here and there's a lot of mine cichlids. Tilapia tend to spawn like every other day. Every other day they're spawning. You know how we always, all of us say, we always wait on the largemouth to spawn once a year. No, tilapia, yep. they're spawning probably 12 times a day. But we're gonna see if we can go smoke some on, on the, old wonder, the bread. wonder bread, right? Guys, listen, if you're ever fishing, with bread, always get white Wonder Bread. That, it stays on the hook and it creates like a little dough ball, so it won't really like slip. The Wonder off. Bread works wonders. The Wonder Bread works wonders. Have you tried biscuit dough? I, oh, I biscuit haven't. dough because I biscuit haven't. dough stays yeah, on. That's, that's a good idea. idea. That no, that's a great idea. idea. Biscuit dough is killer. That's a little Noah tip. Even though he doesn't do any of this stuff, he always just <laughs> bass fishes. But I'm telling you, biscuit dough, boy, biscuit dough, biscuit dough gets the job done. Right, so this is how we do this take from the center. We just dough ball it up. It's gonna be really hard to do this right now because it's so windy. That's when we came over here to this dock to try to stop some of that wind from blowing. Create a little wind break. Yeah, a little wind break. We kind of want to just pinch it around the hook, make sure everything's perfect, but pinch it around the hook, make sure the hook's showing just a little bit. And we drop it down and we wait. Oh, it's a chicken. Oh boys, there's a huge snook right here. What the heck, dude? That was crazy. That was oh. crazy. How big was that thing, like three foot? Dude, that thing was easy like that and his tail was like that wide that was a huge fish well we couldn't get any tilapia on the bread sadly i know this is like a live versus fake and i feel kind of bad for it but we did the live shrimp kind of versus the frozen shrimp it's not fake but what am i gonna say frozen shrimp i mean what, what? live bait versus frozen live bait, bait versus frozen well you know i guess we could but yeah we're gonna go probably go meet up with the boys right now see how they did see if they uh Caught some more big ones. That was crazy when we FaceTimed them and they had that big dash on that three wow.